Alright, so we want Cloud of Lead all the way to 5. I want 4 in match set. Stoke the Embers, we've taken all the way to max. And we're also taking Scrappy all the way to max. Pretty sure the class mod I have equipped right now is not the one we're going to use. Uh, then we're going to grab the Iron Bank and click click so that we can cap that tree out. Fire in the Skag Den, you know we got to have it. Means of Destruction. Toward cross promotion. High potato does not do splash damage. That's okay. We want the capstone. And we want pull the holy pin. Why do we want pull the holy pin? I know I picked this tree for a reason. Maybe I'm using a vampire to stay alive? That seems weird. I guess just adding this extra explosive damage to it was a big deal for me. Just a little bit into armored infantry here. Grabbing some biofuel, grabbing some big surplus, all the way to max, yeah. And then we're going to grab Harmonious Havoc. I think we get a big bonus from that. Now it's important, we need a full set of gear made by the company that makes Hot Foot Teddy. We also need it to all be the same element. That's the Bearcat, Laser Sploder, and the Lob. They're all fire, they're all torque. So we've got a big ass magazine and we're getting a lot of boosted damage. On our high foot teddy. I feel like I want to try the band of Sidorak first. That one's Torg, is why we are bringing it. And then we want the Torg Company Man. Pearl of Ineffable Knowledge is going to be better than the Torg Company Man. I We're going to try the like Company Man mustache. first. Okay, we want Iron Cub with this skill here. Now, I don't remember the reasoning behind that. And we want the Chain Gun, the Explosive. Oh, wait a minute, I do remember. I do remember, I think, anyway. Yeah, because, uh, big surplus. Iron Cub is going to kill himself really quickly with this loadout. I want to go shoot the target dummy. Mostly because I never have with the Hot Foot Teddy, and I'm not sure if it works the same way as a regular enemy. Yeah, it does. Wow, it connects to their feet. How much sense does that make? Yeah, there's, like, no threat of us running out of ammo. How far away can I connect? Pretty far away. How far away will it stay connected? Basically infinitely far. Do I need line of sight? Uh, yes. Not to stay connected though. Just to be doing damage. This is magical. There's something about this, man. I'm really hoping that this works out. Okay, we want the bear to kill himself. Okay, it apparently only connects to the feet of the target dummy. That's weird. Uh, this is real scary. Everything about this is terrifying. <laughs> I mean, it's not killing enemies quickly. That much we can say for sure. Okay, maybe it's just the armor that we're struggling to get through. Gotta remember, Sapper. We, we just can't take the foot off the gas pedal. Never stop firing. I'm gonna try the Big Boom Blaster because it's gonna drop uh, boosters. And those boosters, we can actively search for and pick up as long as we're connected to an enemy we'll know that we're connected to them by the beam you know we're, we're really playing to the strengths that this gun tries to offer us i don't know how many enemies that it connects to I can't stop shooting that one person there. Whoever connects here, I gotta keep the life still up. The only reason that's important is because I gotta make sure that I don't break line of sight with them. But I need to remember, like, I'm trying to focus the enemies the way I normally would when I'm firing a gun. But I don't have to. And that's, like, a big deal. In fact, I can probably, yeah, I can turn all the way around. That's insane. Dude, this gun is awesome. I mean, whether, like, there has to be a good build for it. I will find it. Yeah, you want to get in a position where you can just see one dude. 
and you're kind of like angling so that no one else can see you. It's like a, a type of corner peeking, you know, like I'm shooting him, and because of that, the other enemies are being hit. Try and make it focus this guy. I don't know how to actually make it switch. That's the thing. Here we go. We actually have to make them cross across the beam, I guess. Okay. Because since we're using the sapper, it's pretty critical that we uh, non-stop hold down that trigger. You know? It's also worth noting that you can get a much stronger high foot teddy. This one's only about, well, maybe a little bit more than half as good as it can be. Oh my god, the pearl of ineffable knowledge. I think that we can't give up the sapper's life still. I think that is a critical component to this. But we can drop 40% magazine size and 50% damage for the Pearl of Ineffable Knowledge. I mean, with this build, it's like fucking perfect. Can't miss. I mean, you can. When an enemy dies, we'll drop the stacks, but who cares? You know what I mean? I'm going to put the Nova on. I don't remember. I don't even need to look at enemies. Not a major fan of the screen shape. It seems to just come along with the hot foot teddy firing for a long time. That's maybe the, the biggest downside. Where's the other guy? There he is. Okay. <laughs> Dude, this is awesome though, for real. Using the angles for our advantage. Feel like a bigger extreme than I'm used to doing. You know what? I'm gonna give this the Red Wizard Soul approval. It's not the best build, but it's definitely unique. It's definitely fun. It's got more potential than I'm showing here right now. That much I'm sure. I don't think that you're gonna get a better result on other Vault Hunters. But I do intend to find out, and the next Fault Hunter we're going to do so with is Amara. However, we do need to get a better Hot Foot Teddy first. This one that you see in this video is only about half as good as it actually can be. That's not exactly ideal. This was more of a proof of concept. Is there something to work with with the Hot Foot Teddy? And I think, yes, there is. So we're going to do that. A little bit of farming needs to happen first, but there will be an Amara build coming your way, and it'll be a little more optimized than what you see in this one. Until then, if you'd like to see more content like this from Borderlands or other games, my Twitch channel is linked down below. There's also a link to this build, by the way, on Loot Lemon. If you've got ideas for this build or others, let me know in the comments. I hope that you have an awesome day.